Okay, on the Chalupa lovers, welcome to Splier Go Test, where I'll be taking a look at Granit Jaka. The 24 year old center made this as an 82 overall, so 3 star skimmers and 2 star weak foot, as we'll take a look at those initial physical and mental attributes. So, the pace and agility balance are quite poor 48 acceleration, 51 sprint speed, 53 agility, 61 balance, 39 jumping but 78 stamina and 76 strength at least. Mentally very good, however, with 81 reactions, 92 aggression, 74 composure, 75 interceptions, 77 attack position, and 82 vision as a flip over to see his initial tactical attributes. 80 ball control, 66 crossing, 70 dribbling, 49 finishing, 70 free kick accuracy, 60, 62 heading accuracy, 86 long pass, 85 short pass, 71 marking, 88 shot power, and 83 long shots. I lost 73 stand tackle, 68 slide tackle, 68 curve, and 59 penalties. As we move over to his play information, he is 6 foot 1, left foot with medium, medium work rates, 2 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. And we'll take a look at the initial specialties and traits that he may have. So no specialties, but the power free kick, long passer, and the long shot taker traits on him. So at the end of that first season, a plus two to his overall. The balance up by two, a plus one in the jumping, interceptions up by three points, and a plus one to his composure, attack position, along with his vision. Then technically, uh, some good growth here as well in this first season with the long pass and short pass up by three points. A plus one in the ball control, heading accuracy and finishing. Stand tackle up by four long shots and marking up by two then a plus one to the curve and a plus two to his penalties now hitting his potential here of 85 overall at age 26 uh, again has those three star skill moves and two star weak foot obviously not the p best pace of Jody balance but i think if you put the right uh, midfielders around him you can really thrive for you in game as we'll take a look at these final physical and mental attributes the 49 acceleration 52 sprint speed 53 agility 64 balance 40 jumping, 79 stamina, and 76 strength. And mentally, 81 reactions, 93 aggression, 75 composure, 79 interceptions, and attack position, along with 84 vision. So really good vision and love the passing attributes. He ends up incredible passer uh, along with some really good uh, long shots and shot powers. So 81 ball control, 66 crossing, 72 dribbling, 56 finishing, 70 free kick accuracy, 93 long pass, and 88 short pass. Then 74 marking, not too bad. 88 shot power though in 88 long shots and almost 82 stand tackle 69 slide tackle and 70 curse so wonderful long shots and shot power and passing ability and he's 84 as a cdm 75 as a fullback 78 as a center back pretty much just a center mid and center defensive mid don't want to play him anywhere else maybe, maybe cam on occasion but much better in the box to box center mid type of rule but uh yeah six foot one left foot with medium medium work rates two star weak foots and three star skills we'll see if he ended up with any specialty so ended up with a distant shooter specialty which makes sense uh, with how much uh, that long shots did grow in just a short period of time and he does uh, have some good growth just in these couple seasons to that finishing which is expected finishing always grows a lot for center mids without training as it grew by seven points in this uh, video here the hitting accuracy up by one a plus three the short pass follows up by points a plus two the dribbling curve long pass up by seven just a couple seasons very good growth there ball control up by points a plus one to his pace, the balance up by three, jumping and stamina up by points, long shots up by five, then mentally a plus one in the aggression, interceptions up by four, positioning and vision up by two, a plus one in the composure, marking up by three three points, and Stan Tacker grew by nine, so definitely helped him out quite a bit as he's looking a lot better uh, as in that box-to-box -box role with that Stan Tackling ability he ends up with. So obviously the pace of Jody Bounce are quite poor, but very good tactically with that passing ability, can really hit those long shots for all of you who like taking those and now uh, some good mental attributes of the high aggression decent interceptions and positioning a vision as well so a nice option in that midfield if you can get over his uh his poor pace and along with his poor agility and balance uh but i think again if you put the right players around him with that passing ability he, sh he could be wonderful there along with the the end the sand tackle ability he ends up with in the end so without my beautiful chalupa lovers i love you all thank you for tuning in i'll be signing up i'll be signing out now I love you. Yes, you're all beautiful, and I'll catch you guys later.